This is one of my battery eliminators. And before I turn power on this set, I've made sure that the filament voltage is set to 2 volts. That's what all these tubes use, right? is 2 volts DC. And as you can see it's set right at 2 volts. And the radio is playing. Believe it or not, this radio doesn't have a volume control. It's got a tone control. It's a rather unusual setup. Here's the intermediate stage transformer that I replaced. This is the old one right here. You can see that there's uh, lots of connections. Uh, most of the connections that are alligator clips are the C batteries. And there's the connections. And what I did was I found the easiest connections and traced them in the circuit and then labeled them and I did that on every one when I got down to the last one I didn't just assume that whatever was left I could label I proved every one of them and you can see I replaced all the caps but let me turn this thing on doesn't sound real good. So, I'm going to use a signal tracer here to see if I can't find what the problem is. We've got a ground, uh, audio frequency, RF frequency, and I'm going to go in about the middle of the circuit and start there. That's always a good place to start anywhere. If you don't know where to start, start in the middle. Okay, I've got the signal tracer turned on and I've got the probe set in the audio portion of the signal tracer to detect audio frequencies. Let's zoom this in. About the center of the circuit is right here. You'll understand completely why NBC decided this is not going to be on our... And as you can hear, the signal is quite clear there. Let's check traffic and weather together on the 8th and WPTF. And here's Brian. Thanks. That wire goes over to here. This weekend, tickets on sale with the Hunt Horse Complex on eastbound 40 traffic... And the signal runs up this capacitor to Three. here. The outer bell line still running slow from Lake Boone Trail to Western Boulevard. Motorcycle crash on Pecan Road at Wilmington Street. I'm going to have to move the camera. That wire down here runs up to here. Here to be ridiculous fees for everything at your bank. You can't. Goes through this capacitor you here. Learn how at coastalfcu.org. And of course, up to ORG. With more traffic reports than anyone else, I'm Brian LeBlanc, this News Talk 680 WPTF. Milder tonight, lows in the low 30s, warm tomorrow, mid and up. 
and then this is the output of the tube. Hmm. So Boston at Joseph A. Banks and we are That's the input. Of your holiday shopping. And this is the output. Maybe you're looking for something in the way of a nice camel hair. I measured the voltage on the plate of that tube and it showed 22 volts and looking at the wiring diagram it's supposed to be 90. So I took a look at the uh, harness where they're labeled in the diagram and what I thought was 30 volts which you can see uh, between the 67 and a half and 135 that's actually 90 volts so I made that change on the battery eliminator and tried it again. Business ancient gray holiday price cuts wow. save an additional twenty five to three hundred dollars off Friday and Saturday. Go with Greg. Price and advice guaranteed. See store for details. Exclude manufacturers who prohibit discounting. Ah, oh, the weekend's almost here. News Talk six eighty WPTF. We're getting right back to the phones, honestly, in like thirty seconds. But I want you to hear this ad. But if you have children. Uh, you might want to turn the radio off and just uh, go ahead. Wow, what a difference. The quality of the sound really surprised me. This is an early 1930s set, probably used on the farm. But there's still quite a bit of work left to do.